Hey, you chip. <laughs> <laughs> Unison. <laughs> so I was actually giving these two guitars to my pal. I was like, here. Yeah, yeah, so I've got these two guitars. They're both uh-huh. very similar. Different companies, very similar. And I think they've both got the same bridge pickup. Hold on a minute. This is what's in the bag. What's in the bag? We never said that. Just no. got into his talking about I'm kind of talking about guitars. what's in the bag. The bags, yeah, the bags. Normally what's in the bag? <laughs> what's in the bags, yeah. It's what's in the bags. Exactly. Excited. Bags, yeah. So, so I know you were saying, sorry, what was the guy? The guy. Uh, T-Gun, check him out on YouTube. Um, hey, T-Gun. He's got two... The guy I went down to Hard Rock Hell with. Uh-huh. Um, he's uh-huh. given me these two guitars. One of them he's going to knock down to... To do a comparison of them all, which I'm going to do on my own later. But, um... Telecaster? Uh, Telecaster? Am I feeling through the bag right? Yeah, you, know, you, you might be feeling through the bag right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it is as well. Look at that. Well, you're now, now that's nice. Yes, and he used the term super telly. It's quite heavy, isn't it? Which I wasn't sure whether a super telly existed, but... It, he said super telly, so it's a super telly. Yeah. You get super strap, why not a super telly? And I've not set it up yet, no. It, it wants one in drop C sharp and one in normal. I think. I need to check one to make sure. It didn't get D in or something like that. See? Aye. So Seymour Duncan, it's the same. One of them's got the same as my eight string. I also put six string versions. So it's actually sentient and Nazgul. I can't. Remember. I think it's Nazgul. I think it's the bridge one. Which is not right. Yeah, it's not really slight in the right position in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yes. So we also think it's Brad's bank in you. You it's have the lovely. Service, the service was lying about a minute ago. I've, I've, I've not done this edit, editing these guitars yet. Um, so it's a what then? Made where ideas? Um, so what is it in for? He wanted me to bring it over and show you and, and just he wanted me to set the both of them up, give them a quick set up and set one of them up for drop C and one of them for normal. I think his point was it's like two guitars with the same pickup and they don't, they don't sound the same. I, my favourite, I, I like to see that uh, the tip on the the switch. I like that. It's quite nice, isn't it's, it? It's, I'm just going to attack this switch with a tiny wee bit of service, all right, guys. Yeah. Brand snob. I buy electrical contact cleaner, two tins for six pound off eBay, which is the same stuff. This costs more than six pound a tin. It does, yeah. And it basically it smells identical to 
You know, the stuff you get for cars, because that's just for a car or for a computer, not for a guitar. As soon as it's for a guitar, it's worth more money. Mm -hmm. I think it's the same stuff. I think that's it. We did, we did wonders on that strat earlier on with the dodgy tone pot. Yeah. It's like some, sometimes, you know, when it's scratchy, it might not kill it, but a fair amount of the time it can take a pot that's so scratchy and it's just one scoosh and it's, it's just absolutely clear. clear instantly. Yeah. If it's like a new, a new guitar. Ducty. I think it might be one of those things, you know, like when you get components that have got like a coating yeah. on them to stop them rusting in the factory or stop them rusting when they're in a, a warehouse. It could just be a case of that. Cleaning it off. It might be a signature model from somebody. That might be the other one, though, I can't remember. Hmm? It, might, it might be a signature model, but it might be the other, the other guitar I'm about to show you, which might be in. Um, Is this him for a setup? <laughs> Is he wanting to set up? Um, I said I was going to set it up. The pickups are too far away from the strings. Yes. I think these are pretty much from uh, out of the box type things. I don't think they're maybe not out of the box last week, but. So, I can then? You can. Yeah. <laughs> watching the video. How's it going? It's watching him attack your guitar. If it doesn't work, it's his fault. This is the point where he broke it. It's amazing the difference it makes. Oh, it's amazing the difference it makes having the string. Like it can just make a. Well, it gets the full strength of the pickup. Then it's supposed to be quite quite, quite powerful pickups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think again, a lot of people buy new pickups because the ones in their guitar aren't very good. It's like, well, well, where are they sitting? How is it set up now? I'm just going to eye these just now because I don't know what the strengths are like for next the same as the... Aye. I would normally set the bridge pretty much as high as I can get it without hitting the strings off it and then set the neck so that it's the same volume as that, basically. Just more full. Uh, the fucking tens. I think they might be they might be higher than that. Fuck off, man. That's quite painful, by the way. Yes, I can t I can tell by your face. Man enough for the big thick strings? No, I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I'm... It's like benching something I'm not entirely used to benching. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I used to laugh at you behind your back all the time for moaning about having lap, you know, tens, uh, uh, big Jesse, you know. <laughs> it's like now that I'm playing nines, I totally know exactly what you mean. Did you get a plectrum? Any plucks numbers about? I'm sure I was sitting on it. Slide special. Super telly. Actually, 
I was going to say, you know, I've, you, know you might have seen my Washburn tour 24, which is basically that, but black. I'm pretty sure there's a Washburn. In fact, there is. There's a Washburn. It's very much that from 1984. I really like this guitar. I like the neck. It's a bit thinner than the normal, the normal, yeah, normal Charvel cut. Charvel are, they are Mexican uh, Fender, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So it's basically, it should, it's just probably a Mexican Fender. ISC. Lock and tuners. Definitely approved. Definitely a metal telly. Well. I'm too big a head. Actually, I look like uh, Aaron Ra. He wears a hat. Same as this. One. <laughs> uh, no, what is it? Um, I wish I could play some Bon Jovi. Uh, not really. What about play? But right now, does uh, Sambora not wear a hat like this and play a telly like this if it's just it's got a pointy headstock? <laughs> This one's easily half the weight. Easily half the weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. I really mm -hmm. like it. That's uh, not his guitar, that's my cable. It's mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. it's a, actually, it's a Planet Waves cable. If anybody buys them, don't. No, the trick is, right? Don't. Now this, this, I, <laughs> I was told, the first, the first band I was in, give everybody Gavin. The guitarist telling me he's like, up here, yeah. Because I was buying monster cables. No, I bought a 30 pound mm. monster cable and he's like, up here, no, no, no. I've got look at this cable and he had this shitty wee grey thing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, up here, the best cables you get are always ones that someone either leaves at your house or you accidentally steal. Ah. So I, I go by that mm. rule. Basically, if when I buy a guitar and in the, in the bag, it's got a cable, that's going to be a pure amazing cable. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a good cable, it just has to be one that's not yours. If you buy one, no matter how much you spend, they're just they always just you're always really disappointed when they break. Disappointed by that one from the very outset. Planet Waves cost a lot of money that cable. Yeah. Shite. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't feel like a I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean okay, I've had it for about five years and it still works. Yeah. But... It makes that noise though whenever you move it about. Yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah. Inevitably. But Check this, look how close this is. That's actually not tightened up properly. Actually, mine's has got a car top. So yes. You notice the difference. See, mine's has got an arch top on it. That's flat, isn't it? Mm hmm. That's got. No, no, a, it's, no it's got. It's got no, the I was going to say that one's got a comfort cut in the corner. Mine's doesn't. Mine's has just got the belly calf. But it doesn't have the comfort. Right, yeah, the, the, the chamfer. Yeah. Mine's is made to. Well, there's, 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 I was going to say, it's a signature from the great unfinished. Is that what that is? Yes. All right, okay. That's, guy, that, that's, that's my pal T-Gun. It's a lovely guitar, T-Gun. Well done, man. His, 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 his solo project. He's a, he's okay. He's a little record himself. Yes. It's lovely, it really is. It's really, really nice. I like the, the, the stock tail bar arrangement. That's more Les Pauly. This one's got more of a kind of traditional, what would you say, Fender type? I just, you get the angles. Yeah, you get hard tail like. strats from the start. It's basically it? a hard tail Telecaster, yeah. What's the normal yeah. Telecaster? What's that one? It's a Les Paul. Right, feel the difference in weight. Hold that one up. Oh. I'll hold it next to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, half totally. the weight. I don't think you'd be surprised. It's nearly in it. Uh, half I'd the say weight. that. I would. I put that less. Yeah. It can make it can make a huge difference. So I reckon there's maybe a kilogram in the difference. So that. But you know it. what? The neck feels three point seven. This will be. The neck feels roughly the same. Yeah. This is a. A something else neck. I don't think that's maple, or is it? Or is it just is it roasted maple or something like that? Maybe. I found the story of this one. This one's got a basically it's a Les Paul. It's a mahogany body, a mahogany neck, maple top, rosewood neck, rosewood fingerboard. So it's basically a Les Paul construction. Is it still? Is it Fender scale? Is it, is, it's is Fender scale, yeah. Ejector, yeah. But everything else is Les Paul. 
basically. So it's like if Les Paul and Telecaster had sex, this would be the result. Which they did, by the way. They had sex with a G, just for YouTube. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that's a, yeah, I'll do, I really like that. Mm -hmm. I do. I'd probably prefer it to this. Well, I, I, not, not to be racist again, but I, I like white guitars. Um, Wearing a hat like that, you should. Yes, it's, a, it's, it's, it's definitely an Adam Rahat. I like it. I like it. Um, yes. So do you want to see the other one? Do we try and make it a two video? Sorry. Make it a two video, shall we? Yeah. Two videos. <laughs>